A challenge in quantum is that these are hard to scale. These computers are incredibly sensitive to interference in their environments. This can be anything from vibrations, heat, radiation, or even the Earth's magnetic field. This big shield here is made of a special metal that the magnetic field gets attracted into and, and isolates the quantum processor at the bottom of this fridge. But the main limitation to quantum computers is errors. Researchers' primary focus has been on detecting and then trying to correct for those. These computers are too error prone. If you can solve the errors within these quantum computers, then you really can make it a practical technology. And we're entering that era now. That's why you're hearing a lot about all of these breakthroughs across the industry. And so that's super exciting. It's a major paradigm shift. But now you've got to make that error correction work even more efficiently. You have to encode the information that it processes in a highly redundant way so that when the errors occur, they don't damage the information that you're trying to protect and process. The error rates are still at a point where they're not commercially viable, but we will see this leapfrogging, and I expect that of those four companies that are working towards this, probably two or three of the four will ultimately have an error rate uh, within the next, call it five years, that is uh, more palatable for commercial applications. Amazon's first foray into quantum was through the Amazon Bracket service, which gave developers access to quantum computers from other companies such as IonQ and Rigetti Computing. But after mostly watching from the sidelines, Amazon decided to start investing in its own technology. 